a global game that's encounter up many goalkeepers evocative. Richard Paul Frank Kinson, born 13th June 1978, remains one of Africa's greatest ever goalkeepers. I started as a striker. You know, uh, uh, one day I came from school. That, that was Friday. I came from school, and uh, we were just playing uh, the area football. And this team called Dragon International. They came to train. They are in the third division. So some of their goalkeepers didn't come. So they were looking for uh, a goalkeeper. I told him I can, I can, I can, I can, I can play go in the post. So he said, "Okay, go in there." So I went there with my best touch, that gloves, giving me that shirt, and I was playing. And since from there, uh, my late father gave me uh, some of the gloves, keeping gloves to me to start my. I played with CK at one of the first I went to school with CK at one of the He was my senior. When the school teams uh, I used to play. So since from Brago, then I became a goalkeeper. The penalty spot that took one of that world title. Again, a shot. shot comes in. And here in Webeck, they yeah, took me to Young House in Tema. But unfortunately, my auntie was not happy about it. So she came there and took me. So I didn't play the goal. So I started from. Uh, Third division before Premier, I played uh, Rago International. Okay. Uh, I was in the US. Then from I the US, I came to a graduate. Blessing himself can be blessed for the moment for the Ghana as well by scoring that one goal that makes all. I played justified, okay, for six six months, but I wasn't registered before I went to the uh, and then from Akosema, I came back again to play Justify. And I was registered in Olympics. That was uh, the time of uh, Coach Sapon. Yes, I played uh, under 23, but I didn't play under 17. I played under 23, under 20. Uh, I played the tournaments, just the tournament in Holland. Yes, I was. Four nation tournament, but uh, I didn't play the major tournament. Just uh, you were invited. Uh, uh, twenty team was invited, so I was uh, I was invited to play. Uh, the uh, five-time winners, but the two successive winners of the uh, of this competition. The last two events, of course. Okay. It was Olympics. We played against Accra also four. Uh, I was in invited to. Uh, the black matches. By then, the the coach of the blazer is the same coach of the black matches. See, so they were living in the same uh, hotel. So uh, I was with under twenty three, but and uh, when and I was promoted to the blasters. It was ninety six. I was part of the ninety six squad. We went to South Africa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. You so I played the black matches. I went to Olympic Games in Atlanta. Uh, I know the challenge is very high uh, because we have serious goalkeepers there. Uh, Simando was there, Nanabi was there, uh, Benkuru was there, uh, Mofat was there. Uh, they are about six. So, uh, when I was invited, I said, hey, this is a good place. Yeah. <laughs> but let me do my best. Let me go there and also learn from them and study them. But if I get the opportunity, then I'll play. So I was lucky I played with all these experienced goalkeepers. So I took the, uh, the discipline and the everything I was able to get from them. So that I used to ask them. Uh, for advice, they used to give advice, and I think that uh, those advice has uh, helped me in my, my life when I go to be career. I think it, it was around 1998 against uh, Morocco, Morocco in, in uh, Kumasi. That was my first, my first year. 
I, uh, most were very happy because the the thoughts I have taken the steps of my late father, and I was also using uh, my father's jerseys uh, 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 or the equipment. You know? So my father, late father, also was very happy about uh, the decision. So even though he didn't train me, but uh, he was very, very happy to encourage me to be more disciplined and to be more hard work. Okay, my favorite goalkeeper here in Ghana is Salifo and San Jaguar. So, uh, some of my friends in Nungwa, in Teshin, you know, they call me Jaguar. But some people don't know that my name is Jaguar. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a nickname. I got it from my my cousin. Yeah, okay. my cousin. Um, why did you give you Olele? Why? Uh, she said Olele means love. Okay, okay. okay love. So, yeah. I played the qualifiers. Okay. I played all the qualifiers, but Simonado was was a senior keeper. You know, in, in Olympic Games, they used to have three senior yes. goalkeepers. So they brought uh, Simon Ado uh, and some other players. So Simon Ado was uh, the first choice. So he played the, the, the tournament. And that was, and then, uh, there was a little pressure. You know, there was a pressure because as a young goalkeeper, the play front of your nation, you know, the expectation was very high, uh, but with the encouragement from uh, my siblings, I was able to do my best things. Since from there, uh, I, 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 I gathered the, the courage to do more. Okay. We we'll look to fire the ball, and Kingston made a bit of a hassle that. Yes, uh, I know I will come back. Because I have a mission to accomplish uh, the national team. Okay, so I know that I will come. You know, sometimes uh, challenges will uh, delay you a while. But if you know what you are doing and you know where you are going, you will still come out and be victorious. So I was working and I was also praying for the team to be qualified to the work so that I can have the opportunity to play. Yes. So, okay. so in 2006, I was able to be invited to the national team again to come and play and by the grace of God. Yeah. And the second coming of Egypt, you can see. When I was invited, yes. I was the fourth goalkeeper. Wow. Yes, I started from the fourth goalkeeper. Wow. By my hard working and by the grace of God, before the tournament starts, I became the first choice to start against uh, uh, Italy. Training, we were, uh, uh, I, when we went to the, uh, the training camp, you know, everybody was fighting for position, you know, until the final uh, uh, selection came before the game. So I said, hey, today um, I'll be the first player to play as a goalkeeper for Ghana in the World Cup. He said, hey, today I'll be the first central defender. I'll wow. be seeing you too. We were happy, very, very happy, just to go and play. But uh, before we play, uh, before the warm up, uh, the atmosphere at the dressing room changed. Because we are all going to taste something we have never tasted yes. before. Yes. And the World Cup, everybody was like, I'm not going to do it. But at the place, we were able to play it very well. And uh, from there, after Italy's game, we yeah, said, I know it's normal, it's normal game. We started performing. So from there, we gathered the, the, the confidence to fight ahead. Okay. When we are in the dressing room, there was you will hear people shouting, jubilating, they come and see, you know, they come and see, yeah, people are jubilating with cars, with everybody is united. So, so when you when you hear those things, you say, wow, so this football can bring love to people. So next time we have to do it well so that our people at home 
will be more happy. So let us be one. Let us work hard to, to raise our, uh, our flag very high. So it was a, a very, very uh, experience to play in the World Cup. You know, when you position your back four very well, you know your movement. But if you don't arrange them very well, you have challenges. When you, you arrange them very well, you see the loopholes. You can even calculate that this ball will pass it. So before the ball will get to then you are also there. So it's a very good that as a goalkeeper, you need to arrange your back four. If when they are two or three, you need to position them well so that you can also take a good position. Then you fight, uh, you defend along with them. Yeah. Yes, but I don't do selective. Whoever will be selected, one, we are going to win. So my job is to arrange them very well so that I will be comfortable in the post to do my thing. Uh, that the ball, the rock, yes. is the rock. When it's there, it's a rock. It's very serious. Sometimes he can shout on you as if he wanted to beat you because you are not doing your job. But after the game, we all move together and share jokes. when we are coming especially when we are coming from the training yeah. or we are going the, you see a very long traffic you see people people you see you see people parking their cars for us to, yeah. to, to go and i remember one day uh, we were going to play and uh, back to the hotel with happiness and joy even it got to a, a time it was the supporters who gave it the score line for us we were thinking even to score one they will come, they will call you. Oh, we we are going to win three, four. I say, hey, my brother, are you going to play something? <laughs> it was it was a total love. That's that love that we are we are we are lacking now. We are lacking now. So that love we have to bring it back. It's a spirit. It's about sort of the baby boom within the Ghana ranks. Right. That literally does uh, yeah. uh, spell out exactly that, doesn't they're it? They're young, but they're not that young. <laughs> Because I know that that tournament, I know I'll be at finals, but I don't know if I'll win the cup. So I have to do all me to motivate the boys. We were, we were united. We were united. Even though they are young players, even most of Ghanaians did not have confidence in us. Some were predicting that uh, after three games, we will come home. But because of our hard work and the grace by the grace of God, we got to finance. So it is, it's about unity and commitment. And in half, there's a lovely cross over the top, and it's gonna it's the head back to uh, Kingston who collects. Uh, I don't see it that way. It got to a point that the whole team wants me to be there. But you were injured? Yes, I was injured. I had uh, a muscle tear, okay. which. Uh, uh, which was very very big and if not by the grace of God like my career will hit from there and also if you look at the cry of the players we want to see you there as a leader and our number one we want to see you there so I was there for them just to help them to get to finance and in what happens and we give glory to God. So um, I was managed myself with treatments and with, uh, uh, injections and all kind of those things just to keep me to play. Uh, I was, but not too much. It got to a, a point that uh, even though I said it from the beginning that my what I know was to get to the finals, but I don't know I'm going to be a big camp, but he got to that stage. Uh, the, the, the players, the young ones, were crying for. He said, Ah, God, use us to end this blasters the winning cup issue. So I became like, Oh, wow. So we want to win the cup now. 
So after the game, after the game, we were a little bit uh, uh, worried, but not to, because we are uh, because the nation, the nation self was not uh, supporting to the time we got to semi for us. So it's like okay, we have done our best. Let's move on. Be great, be great, and uh, it was just not. Uh, uh, a, a performance, but a performance which computed the world class goalkeepers. I was the third best goalkeeper in 2006. I made about 20 or 21 saves. And then in the 2010, I made the most saves, so I should have been the best goalkeeper of the tournament. But because of we were out from the quarterfinals, so we were able to. So my aim was to be the best goalkeeper in the tournament in the world. And so uh, it has given me a lot of experience, and that experience that's that's what uh, I was started sharing with the up and coming, so that they can also continue from there. Uh, I'm still in football. Uh, I haven't finished my mission, and I have to accomplish that mission. You know. A mission of winning the Cup of Nations. So, uh, my coming back to the national team, I don't know how, to, but I know one day, one day, one day, God, God will in that direction. And also, not me really, really, I want to play and win, but I want to be part of it. So, our last tournament, if you can ask the God, I was doing everything for them. Everything for them to win to the extent that I call the three of them and come here. This thing you are doing, when you win this cup, you win. But that was what I started. So, uh, who is going to play? You know, say it as if you are the one playing. Let us support each other. We are the people. We are the, uh, the strong backbone of the team. If you don't concede a goal today, you are going to win. So that's the encouragement and all those things went on. But very unfortunately, we were limited on the way back. I believe still, we have, as I believe still, we can win the cup. If we do the right, we win the cup. Still, the cup is there for us. The cup is still in Ghana. It has, it has not gone, it's still in Ghana. So we have to, if you look at our, our records, semi finals, finals, semi finals, finals, semi finals, finals. It means the thing is there, but maybe we are not doing the right thing to uh, win the cup. So I believe next time, I mean, we need to do the right thing and win the cup home for our uh, cherished supporters, the Ghanaians also. I mean, that's their bonus. They are not taking money for if you win the game, that's their bonus.